let me just quickly break down the cost for you of what I meant when I said $100 with all bills included. So the room alone with the Wi-Fi and water is 4,000 peso per month. And then the electric is run on a sub-meter, but it's always between three and say 800, depending how much electric you use. It's like never really over a thousand pesos. So yeah, that's basically the breakdown of the costs. The last few days has been quite hectic because we uh, moved place during the lockdown, which proved to be quite difficult. But uh, yeah, basically we left that old place. We've come to this place. It's a lot cheaper. You read the title right. It's a hundred US dollars for the month, including like electric, water and internet. So it's very, very cheap. And it's just handy during this time. And plus after the next few months when everything's probably lifted and things go back to normal, we don't know we're gonna move on to a different place. So for the time, it's just better to move to a cheaper place. And pretty much the room, it's the same kind of size as the last place we was in. So I didn't really see point in paying so much more for that place when we don't spend too much time in the room anyway. So let's get into it. This is what an $100 apartment or room looks like in Cebu City, Philippines. As you can see behind me here guys, this is the gate for the entrance. It's padlocked, so the place is very secure. And um, basically what this is, this is someone's house and they've just converted the back to three rooms or apartment rooms, whatever you want to call them, for people to rent. So this is the gate. And then you walk down here, there's a little place where you can hang the clothes, sit down. This is our new room in here. I'll go in there in a bit. We have a little storeroom in here for all the water, the bottled water. So when we want some of that, we basically just take one into the room. And just at the front here outside this gate, there's a little shop and the woman who owns the house owns the shop. So we just drop her the money whenever we want to take some water. And this is the entrance to our room. You <laughs> You have the door with the net, mosquito and fly net, and the same here, the window. So let's go in. This is what a hundred dollar room looks like in the Philippines. After obviously we have the door as well. And and guys, we've we've actually just moved in here, so excuse the mess, we've just threw everything in basically. But this is how it comes, this comes as a bare room, like um the walls, the walls are just white. There's a bed frame in, but there was nothing else, just the bed frames. So we'll get into it and show you what it's like. So this is basically the room. The, the landlord told us as well, he was meant to paint it, like freshly paint it, but he couldn't due to lockdown. There's nowhere to get paint, so we have the hard wood door so it's secure we can lock it there so that's good and then you can open it in the day and you still get the sunlight in on the windows we have shutters that lock which is also good Then we have this table. This is just an old table that threw in here for now, but he's going to be getting a new table. So that won't be until lockdown's basically finished. Up there was an aircon unit, but the last family that was living here took the aircon unit with them. So if we wanted an aircon unit, we'd have to provide our own, but we don't use aircon, so that's no biggie for us because we have our fan here. We bought our fridge with us. You, the only thing, the only thing, if you get a room like this, is more than likely you'll have to provide your own mattress or foam, which was no hassle for us because we already had a couple. So what we might do here in the next few days as well, whenever we can get our hands on some paint, we'll probably just paint the place ourselves as we have nothing to do now during quarantine. But yeah, um, over here there's like this. It's not very good. It's just a 
place to throw the clothes. We've just literally threw our clothes down there for now. When enhanced quarantine is over, we'll be moving this. We'll get the landlord to move this to another place and we'll get some like storage boxes to put the clothes in just to neaten it up because this takes up quite a lot of room and it's pointless. So yeah, that's basically the room. We have our fridge down there, fan there. Just a small room, nothing special, but it has space. We have the sunlight coming in. And this is the bathroom. It's actually the bathroom here is bigger than our last place, which is nice. We have the, oh shit, I broke it. We have the toilet roll thing there. The bucket and bum splasher there. If you like to use that, those of you who have lived in Asia a long time. We have the shower there. The shower head is actually going to be, he's putting a new shower system in. But for now, you cannot do anything. As you know, we're in enhanced quarantine. So he was very like, oh, the room's still a bit messy. But we told him, oh, it's okay for us. We don't really mind. We just wanted to move into a cheaper place. So... Basically, when enhanced quarantine's over, we'll paint it, he'll change the shower. We'll be getting a few new things in, so it'll make the room look a lot better, I suppose, once we've painted it all white. Got rid of this wardrobe, get storage boxes in for the clothes, it'll start to look a bit neater than it is now, because we've just tossed everything in here for the time being. But, yeah, that's basically it, guys quick run through again from the front it's nothing special but you know for a hundred dollars a month including all the bills you cannot complain I've had a lot of people emailing me and messaging me as well asking oh what can you live in the Philippines like per month and it really depends on you you know because <sighs> You can live as cheap or as expensive as you want. It really depends what you want, you know. For me, the last place we was in was very nice. The room was brand new because it was just it had just been built. But it was like it was like a hundred and fifty dollars more per month. So for me, I can't really like justify and wasting that hundred and fifty dollars extra a month when it's basically the same, you know. Down here as well, there's just through this door there. This is a communal kitchen, but for the time it's under construction, so I cannot go in there to show you. But that's where the three of these rooms here can cook if they wish. So it's kind of nice down here. There's only three rooms. The, the last one's vacant. Two girls from a call center are living in the first one. They have two single beds in their room, so you have the option to do that as well. So basically, if you're with a friend and you're working, you can put a single bed here, a single bed here, and then you'll only pay 2,000 peso each a month, and that includes your internet. So that's like ridiculously cheap like really cheap you will not really find rooms much cheaper than that but basically guys if you're going to look online for an apartment they're always going to be a bit more expensive like we just noticed the other day when you walk them the small subdivisions there's like houses like this one that say like room for rent and so some of them at the back of the houses they have like very nice little rooms you know with wi-fi included and everything so it's really worth checking out if you're coming as like say a solo traveler or you're on a budget or you just want to live cheap because for me there's there's no need for me to pay 400 a month 500 a month to have a nice place unless i'm going to own it in the future because it's basically just like throwing your money away do you know what i mean so Here's perfect because if I wanted to leave and lose the deposit, I only lose such a small deposit like 100 euro. Whereas the more expensive ones, you have to leave bigger deposits. And if you have, say, 500 to 1,000 euro, it's a bit harder to leave because you obviously would want to take the deposit back. So 
this is just handier like also if I want to go and travel for four months and keep a place in Cebu I can do that with this because of the low cost so it's really worth checking out personally I don't spend too much time in the room so something small like this for me is perfect the kitchen doesn't bother me either because we just order takeouts most of the time so as you know in philippines i've got another video about how cheap it is to eat out all day every day i'll put the link in the description below basically you can get meals here between one and four dollars depending where you go like we found a korean restaurant recently they deliver it to us here and it costs two dollars a meal so even if you got takeouts twice a day and just stored some stuff in your fridge the cost of living per month is still super cheap so if you guys want more of a breakdown about the living cost monthly just let me know and I can make a separate video on that so yeah guys that's basically it the $100 room with all bills included hope you enjoyed see you on the next one